Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Some of you may know that we were hoping for a Falcon Heavy launch this month, but that has been postponed. This Spaceflight Now article says the next flight of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket previously scheduled for this month has been pushed back to early 2022 after more delays caused by its US military payload, a Space Force spokesperson said. The launch of the Space Force's USS F-44 mission was set for October 9th but officials have delayed the mission to accommodate payload readiness. There was an interesting article posted by Ars Technica. It says NASA will not make an official announcement for weeks or months but two sources say the space agency is moving several astronauts from Boeing's Starliner spacecraft onto SpaceX's Crew Dragon vehicle for upcoming missions to the International Space Station. Michael Sheets posted a tweet confirming this information. He said NASA confirms the reassignment of astronauts Nicole Mann and John Casada moving them off the Boeing Starliner crew flight test and Starliner 1 missions and making them the commander and pilot for the SpaceX's Crew 5 mission in fall 2022. There was another article posted, this one about a launch which has been given to SpaceX due to Ariane Space Vega C rocket issues. It says, in a rare victory for international launch competition, SpaceX has snagged a contract to launch an Italian Earth observation satellite from European launch monopoly and political heavyweight Ariane Space. Over in Boca Chica, here's the orbital tank farm with just one more tank awaiting a cryo shell. The crane at the launch site used for stacking the tower was recently shortened. The chopstick catching arms are almost ready for installation. The orbital launch mount work continues as they prepare for booster 4 testing. This interesting new red structure is being constructed at the launch site. Two large unknown crates were loaded onto a truck for transportation away from Boca Chica. The extension of the ground fabrication building is looking almost complete. This super heavy booster upper section was stacked in the mid bay. This new massive tank was spotted being delivered to Starbase. After multiple tests, crews continue to work on Ship 20 for a static fire next. Taking a look at the upcoming Road and Beach closures, the dates for tomorrow and Friday were cancelled. However, they still have a closure scheduled for Monday 11th, but the new primary date is now Tuesday 12th. As well as that, they also have Wednesday 13th and Thursday 14th as backup closures for what will hopefully be a Starship 20 static fire. Work on Super Heavy Booster 4 has been continuing to prepare it for testing. Like usual, thanks to Mary or Boca Chica Gal for being out there filming the Boca Chica content. Also, thanks once again to Nick Antsuini who has also been out there filming the Boca Chica content. Plus, thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working hard behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.